Howdy folks, I'm Black Dragon, and welcome to Black Dragon, Bunker TV. Tonight's segment is Ask Black Dragon, and once again, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in from wherever it is in the world that you happen to be. Um, really kind of out of it today, um, so... Um, Just a um, very tough day. Lost a club brother um, this morning at about um, 12 31 o'clock in the morning. And um, I, uh, I got, uh, got home a couple hours ago. So just really kind of. Um, uh, Really kind of um, uh, out of it right now. Um, but um, uh, I missed the last uh, last week's video, so I didn't want to miss this week's video. Really just been in the bed all day uh, after I got home. And um, it's... Um, uh, so I thought I would do this uh, this show, uh, this Ask Black Dragon. I thought I would do this uh, about um, um, when a club brother passes away. It's one of the most difficult times um, that uh, you could go through. And it's almost... Um, it's almost um, surreal um, to find um, a, a way to carry on, um, but it's something that um, every club is going to go through, and um, it's something that no, no matter what happens, your club's going to go through it. So. Um, Todd Fisick says uh, they just lost a club brother on Friday. Um, so uh, I just um, it's you know it's it's just it's very difficult. It's uh, it's probably one of the most difficult things. And when you've been in a club as long as I have, I, I've been hanging around my club since about 1989. And, uh, so when you've been in a club as long as I have, you, you see this over and over again, almost, you know, I, you just want to, you just want to quit. You, you, you've seen this, uh, over and over and over again. Does your club have any traditions on how it sends, uh, off fallen brothers? Uh, absolutely we do. And I, so, you know, I thought I would do uh, this segment on on some of those kinds of things um, or questions that you would have uh, on this segment of Ask Black Dragon. So I, I will tell you that um, we had such a beautiful day yesterday. We had a chapter roll in from out of town, a new chapter that, uh, that we're bringing in. And uh, so, you know, we laid out the red carpet for the bros and uh, the perspective club. And, you know, we did everything. We had food and we had the club set up and just, just everything. It was such a wonderful time of, um, of gathering and brotherhood, sisterhood. We had the whole family several chapters and you guys might have seen the video i did last night where uh, uh you guys could see the chapters many of the chapters together they all came in rolling in to uh to help us um i thank you for that classic choice appreciate you honor and respect so um um, 
I, I'm telling you, it, it, it was the grandest time. And you guys saw the video and less than less than two hours less than two hours after that video you you guys uh you know couldn't imagine that the unspeakable happened uh several of our brothers uh were knocked off their motorcycles uh, an suv actually hit the pack and plowed through it and um uh, one brother is in the hospital and in, in um uh ICU, and another brother was released last night, and another brother uh, was killed. And um, I um, often I make my living reporting on tragedies that happen to other clubs. Um, so uh, absolutely am destroyed when I report uh, what has happened uh, in our own club. The uh, way to carry on is um, to remember who your brother was and what he stood for. And this brother loved Black Sabbath so much. You know, as a national president, former, um, I trained so many of these guys and I talk to them all the time. And uh, some of these guys that I knew as prospects grow up to be big time officers. And he, uh, he rose to the rank of vice president of his chapter. I, I knew him when he was just, I knew him when he would, stand guard for me as a national president, as a prospect. Then he's a vice president and people follow him and respect him and love on him. And um, it's absolutely amazing to watch his progression and um, his growth. In the club and uh, hung out and hung out with him and I, death is so crazy because we hung out we were talking we we um, he shared many things with me we got a chance to hug each other tell each other that we loved one another and then I I, t I go to my hotel room and when I pull up in my hotel room People are running out of the hotel rooms and heading back to the clubhouse in this unspeakable tragedy. And you read about it. It happens to other clubs like uh, the Leathernecks. Uh, I know the, 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 those, group, those Marines. Remember that Marine club that it happened to? And, and I report that news, and it's always another club. And I could never imagine a car tearing through a, a pack of Black Sabbath. Just that happens to somebody else. I forget the name of that motorcycle club, and not out of any disrespect, it's just that my mind is not uh, where I would like it to be. And um, you have this guy who ran down a pack of their brothers, and they, they lost nine. The Roughnecks was that the Roughnecks in team? I'm not sure, and it's happened to more than one. We got Mike Ball on the line, and Mike Ball uh, is missing a leg right now. They um, they ran over him. A car ran over him, and he lost his leg on impact, and he's in the hospital right now for three or four surgeries later. When I saw them giving CPR to my brother, and I realized that he hadn't had a pulse rate for at least 10 or 15 minutes. I just, the impending doom I felt. 
and um, it's just going to happen to you in a motorcycle club. And if you're in a motorcycle club as long as I've been, it's going to happen seemingly over and over and over and over again. And I was um, two hours away from home. And uh, I saw his wife's heartbreak. And there was nothing I could do. And we prayed. We reached out and we, we touched that ambulance. And there was a wall of Black Sabbath there praying and touching the ambulance and trying to pray prayers of intercession on his behalf. My mother used to say the prayers of the righteous availeth much. And there are some righteous people in our club. So, um, so this version of Ask Black Dragon is to let you know that um, you guys see me. And when people meet me, it's it's a crazy thing. Oh my God, it's Black Dragon. Oh my God, sir. You know, I never require anybody to call me that. Um, Super Solid said, I've been in the club three years and already lost two brothers. And uh, people see me. And I want to say that I'm just, I'm just a normal human being. I've cried on this thing. When Mike Ball told me that he lost his leg, I broke down and damn cried right here on this channel. I broke down and cried. So, just a normal, regular person. My opinions don't, you know, matter. Just talking to you about my opinions, my experiences. I, I'm nobody special. Just a guy who picked up a telephone and started a YouTube channel. Any of you guys could do it. Some of the things you want to do is um, you have to get everyone together. You have to take a good assessment of people in your club when this happens. Hey, Aunt Squirrely. And um, you have to keep your eye on those people that are most adversely affected because those people um, could do stuff like get on their motorcycle and ride away in the middle of the night. You can't allow that. You got to take keys from people. You have to... Um, keep people close so you don't lose more uh, by accident. You have to bring the family close. Um, you have to to stop blame. People love to play the blame game and some things are blameless. Some things happen. They're just weird. They're wild accidents. They're, they're, they're one-offs. Um, they, they, they weren't meant to happen, but they do. So you have to just um, sometimes, you know, assuage placing blame um, and understand that God has his time for people. Um, and, um, and so you don't do your club any good by placing blame and threatening people and all kinds of stuff. That doesn't do the club any good. And as the leaders, as presidents, and I wrote about this in my book, President's Bible, which will be coming out very soon. Um, I wrote about this when I talk about the president and having to deal with decisiveness and indecisiveness. Um, 
during times when even the president is brokenhearted. I mean, the president is bro can be brokenhearted and he's still got to make um, decisions. Uh, my brother here says we lost one of our Houston brothers to a drunk driver yesterday morning. Sorry for your loss. And I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, and Muhammad uh, El Duidib, it's good to see you on here. Um, but um, these are the things that that um, you want to do. You have to com continue to 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 show leadership and camaraderie and brotherhood and sisterhood when the times are most tough. And it's just so hard to believe because we we had such an amazing time. If you go back and look at that video, everybody was happy. And that video I did last night, it, it's just on YouTube. I didn't put it on Facebook. And the reason it's just on YouTube is because uh, it had music playing in the background. And Facebook has already been really on me. So I don't want to give them another reason to kill my channel for another month or whatever. So it's only on the on the YouTube channel. but. You could see how happy we were. You could see how, just how happy we were. And, um, not happy now. But it was a beautiful day. It was an absolutely beautiful day. And he got to be around people that he loved. And that loved him. And he was actually able to um, be where he loved to be. And that's, that's everything. I mean, and uh, when he went, he was surrounded by people who loved him. And we don't all get that. That... Um, we don't all get that blessing. So, um, so when I got home today, I just got in this bed and um, I haven't moved out of it. And um, It is what it is. It's just, it's just terrible. Um, so, how do you move forward? Uh, I've done. I feel, I'm just numb. I've done this so many times. I'm just numb. Um, I started in San Diego, California. I've buried brothers from San Diego to. To, to, to from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean from coast to coast and it's never going to stop as long as you live it's not ever going to stop um But um, I, I show you this because I want you to see that um, just because you see us on television, just because you see us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, just because you hear us on our podcast, we are normal people. And... Um, just like you lost a brother in the Houston chapter yesterday to a drunk driver, uh, we lose brothers too. And um, you just have to find a way to move on. Um. 
So uh, I'm taking questions. A couple of years ago, I lost a brother in front of my eyes. I was the one that had to give him CPR until help arrived. I needed professional help with what I saw. To this day, I still have flashbacks of that deer hitting him. So last night, one of our brothers was the one who got on the scene and was able to uh, get a pulse back where there was no pulse. He got a pulse back for a little bit, and he did CPR. And we have to watch him. We have to keep our eye on him because he was mouth to mouth with that brother and um, had his blood all over him and was able to reestablish a pulse for a short time. And um, what I saw, you can't unsee. You cannot unsee the horror of all these bikes smashed up. I can't imagine what those, uh, mar well, I can't imagine it now, what those Marines went through, seeing seven or eight or nine of their of their brothers just run the hell over by a car. I saw it. it. It's happened now to my club. And the bikes were spread out over. They, they were hit so fast. The bikes were spread out over an eighth of a mile period. Up a uh, 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 eighth of a mile um, distance. Just all up and down the highway. And, um, That 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 sight is crazy. That's a crazy sight. It's it's not anything that any but it happens, so we have to be careful. Um and then there's and then you can't be careful when you're not doing anything wrong. Um when you're not doing anything wrong. Just driving your motorcycle down the street. Um then you know it's it's divine. It was time. God was calling you home. And that's that that's what you know. Um so I I don't just talk about other clubs, tragedies. Um I don't do this to to um I talk about all of us. All of us the same. We have tragedies too. And um, I don't have information yet about a GoFundMe page or any of that, but I'm telling you, my folks, um, that we may need you. Uh, and if the family decides that that's something that they need to do, please support my brother's family. And um, uh, some, some lessons to learn. Um, you have to have your public relations officer together so that you can release your press releases. It's important to control the narrative. The, the press is looking for uh, sensational stories. And they'll sensationalize what's happened in your family and turn it into a circus. So you've got to be the one to control your press. And um, I've talked about that uh, in many videos that we've done. So um, I, um, I, um, I, I missed, I, 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 I just came on because I really missed doing a couple of these Sunday nights and I didn't want you guys to, Say, oh God, he's here. He is not there, not showing up for another Sunday. So that's um, why I'm here. There's kind of a thing that we have where we um, um, uh, there's a thing that we have where we, when you have an audience, you have an obligation to meet with them. But this is this is all I'm feeling right here, bros. I couldn't even go over to the. Uh, dragon's uh, nest and light up the cameras or any of that. I'm just I'm not there. This this is not there. Red Horse already sent you a dim 
a direct message, but much love and respect to your brothers. Much love and respect to the Black Sabbath MC. Here when you need us. Red Horse and Flapper. Man, my brothers would be happy to know that, and I will pass on the message. Um, C. Roger, I know. I know that, and uh, my brothers would be happy to hear that. Uh, Jester MSFMS, hello, please send the word to uh, that the mixed souls pray for the Black Sabbath Nation, MC Nation, and their loss. This is Merlin Troubles, brother from Yuma, Arizona. Uh, we absolutely appreciate you. Um, like I say, I don't um, know. Uh, what will be needed yet? Um, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna, I'll be sure to let you guys know as soon as I find out what's going to be needed in terms of if the family is going to want a GoFundMe page or something like that. Uh, and I know uh, all of you all, or Lisa, I see you, sis. I see you. So, um, that's what's going on. That's what's going on. And so I thought I would just, um, come back. I don't know what's going on with my pillows here. They all stay up. So anyway, I'm uh, I'm in the bed, man. I'm in the bed. Uh, let's see. That wolf, Black Dragon. I, I know that wolf, the red. I appreciate you, man. Uh, we love y'all. Appreciate it. Um, and you know, I, 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 I try to, I try to, I try to live this as a. Um, I, I, I just, you know, I try to show you guys everything. I try to show you everything. I want you to know that that um, um, I, I want you to know that we're real people here, man. We're real. Everything that happens um, around here, um, we talk about. We talk about it. Yesterday was a beautiful day, a little cool. We rode and hung out at the clubhouse. Friday, we had uh, everybody here at the Dragon's Lair. Just knew that, didn't know that this difficulty would befall us, this tragedy. And we're going to try to keep going forward. But we have to figure out uh, how we're going to survive this surreal reality. Uh, so anyway, um, If you want to add, you know, this is Ask Black Dragon. If, um, you know, I, I would tell you that um, one of the toughest things you'll ever do is outlive a brother. Anyway, it's my two cents. I, I hope that I've. I uh, conveyed some messages here um, that um, you guys can take from our loss. I want to do. I do want to say one thing. One of the brothers was wearing. A, well, all the brothers were wearing helmets. Uh, one of the brother had deep lacerations in his head and his face. I think his helmet was knocked off of him. 
But if you saw those cuts on his um uh on his um head, you understand that if he didn't have that full face helmet on, he wouldn't be here today. Wear the full face damn helmet. Get get over yourself with the BS. This this isn't Sons of Anarchy. Put that damn full face helmet on. The full face, full real deal. Put it on. If he didn't have that helmet on, if he, if he got deep cuts in his scalp, wearing the helmet. Um, what in the hell would it be like if he didn't have the helmet on? Know what I mean? Wear that damn helmet. Thank you, uh, Yolanda Taste of Honey. I know some people say, um, man, I can't see with that helmet on. You don't need to see. Uh, you, you need that helmet. Uh, my, that if I wasn't wearing my full helmet, I'd be dead myself. Mike, who's just had, um, just countless surgeries now, three or four. Um, and so we're we're lucky to have my ball with us. Uh, so I'm just trying to keep it real, folks. I'm just trying to let you know that um, this is part of it too. It's not all lights and fun and glamour and uh, music. Some of it is this, and this sucks. So, we ask that you keep us in your prayers, that um, you pray for our loved ones and our lost ones' families. And uh, I'm just tired. I'm so tired. I see you. Uh, I see you, Swisher. And um, we we love our brother who passed away, and our brothers that were injured. We love them. Um, they, they are good people. We have incredible people in our clubs. And I got to tell you this, too. A lot of times we spend a lot of time in these clubs fighting each other and um, really focusing on some dumb shit. We focus on all kinds of political dumb shit and we get in clicks in our clubs and we, we, um, we, we do some crazy, we, we do some crazy things to one another. Uh, we stop speaking and it's all kind of stuff. And I'm going to tell you that this happened so quickly and so unexpectedly. And I would have just died in my heart if I had had some unfinished business, unsettled words with this brother. If I had had some lingering stuff out there where we weren't talking or something silly. Life is not promised. You have to, you have to, you have to, um, um, take the time to, um, uh, okay. Somebody keeps sending me 
picture after picture. Don't stop. Stop sending me picture after picture. I'm live right now. Stop sending that. You see me live. Okay, so uh, while I'm live right now, don't. But um, find a way to um, find a way to um, settle your differences in the clubs. Find a way to settle your differences club to club, so that we um, we we don't um, uh, continue to hurt one another. Uh, one day you're here and one day you're gone. Let it, let it go. Life is too short. Rest in heaven. You will be missed. Uh, man, it's gotta be annoying to be hit up like that constantly. Um, sorry for your brother. Prayers and condolences. Thank you so much. So I'm going to, uh, cut it short now. Um, I'm getting tired of holding this phone. I just wanted to meet my obligation Paul, and uh, produce my show like I'm supposed to on Sunday nights. You guys know I hate live. So um, I'm getting ready to get out of here. We will let you know. Uh, I will let you know if, 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 if the family sets up a GoFundMe page. And uh, I know you all will support us, as you always have. I just want to say thank you. I love you that all who have been following me all these years and um, who have been following the, the progress and the growth and the videos of the Mighty Black Sabbath Motorcycle Club Nation and um, know that we're hurting right now, but we are, we're still a family and we're still moving on together down the road and uh, we're going to I'll let you know about uh, the services and that sort of thing as the family uh, makes this information available so that uh, if, if, if they want an open sort of thing and any of you are inclined to go, uh, if that is appropriate, then of course we'll be doing that. All right, I'm going back to bed. Um, thank you all so much for everything. It's my two cents. I'd love to hear your two cents down in the comment section below. I'm Black Dragon. Thanks for tuning in and get skinny. And uh, since I'm on the phone, I got to figure out how to turn this damn thing off. Uh, I don't remember. I haven't done this in a while. Hmm.